Hey, it's Clay at CPAP My Way, CPAPMyWay.com. Wanted to uh, do a quick update video on the Dream Station recall as it stands today. It's been a while since we've given you an update because, quite frankly, there hasn't been a lot to update. Um, but at this point, we've got a few things we'd like to at least catch up on. So, four main things, dear. We want to talk about the overall status of what's going on, um, a timeline, expectations uh, for how soon you should uh, receive some information after registering and, and how soon you should receive the equipment, uh, how to register if you haven't already registered, how to check your serial number, and then what to expect after you, um, as far as communication goes after you do the registration. So number one, what's the latest? So we're noticing that people are receiving Dream Station 2s. We're seeing a lot of that in our uh, Dream Station 2 video. I'll throw a link to that in the uh, um in the description so that you can click on that video if you want to see it. Um, so a lot of people are watching that video saying that they just got their Dream Station 2 replacement device. So that's a good deal. Uh, a lot of people are saying that, so that's cool. If you could, we would really appreciate commentary in this video if you've received a Dream Station 2. Give us some timeline, help us to understand how the process went for you. Uh, that would be super helpful. Um, Another update is that they've established, Phillips has established a clinical hotline. I'll throw the number in the description as well. It's a toll free number and it is for customers who have received their replacement device, but maybe have some questions about it or some concerns about it. So they have addressed that as well. And I think they've only got a few staff members. So, you know, keep that um, in perspective that it may take a little bit of time to speak to somebody, but they do have some clinical staff uh, devoted to that. Um, if you get you, let's say you get a letter notifying you of the uh, Dream Station recall and there's a label in there. Check that label because it may be just a copy of the label coming to you. I don't know why they did that for a quality assurance measure, but we've had a ton of people tell us, hey, I got a label. Should I send it back? Well, the label is addressed to you. So just take a peek at that label. If it's not the actual return label with return shipping instructions, don't package up your Dream Station to send it back. Chances are it's, it's just a quality assurance measure. The other thing is um, we haven't really heard clarity on what's happening with the Dream Station Goes or the Dream Station Bypaps because they can't just send out a Dream Station 2 device for those. Um, so we have inquired and if we get that answer or hear if, if you've had an answer or had an experience with that, please let us know. Uh, we'll pass along the info as we have it, of course. The other thing is do not give out your credit card information to anyone in relation to this recall. Um, there is no reason why Phillips would want your payment information. This is uh, nothing should be charged to you. And there have been some scams popping up. So keep an eye on that. Um, as far as the timeline on this, it's all still a little blurry. However, we've noticed in our Dream Station 2 video that people are receiving it sometimes in that three to four month window. Um, I personally registered a Dream Station 1 for the recall on June 22nd and um, I don't have a replacement device yet. So it's been four months for me and, um, and nothing yet, but you know, hopefully soon. Um, one thing that may help is to have your Dream Station linked in the Dream Mapper app in case there's a need to look up current settings. That all happens quicker if the connectivity is there. So a lot of people have Wi-Fi or cell modems inside, but if you don't, the only communication is going to be if you've got your um, smartphone linked up to that unit on the Dream Mapper app. So, it'd be a good thing to do just to be preemptive. Um, in their notification, they're saying up to 12 months. So, keep that in mind. Everyone that we've seen get a replacement, obviously, it hasn't been 12 months since the recall happened. They're getting it a lot sooner, obviously. So, optimistically, I think 12 months is an overshot, but you know, it could be if that's what they're saying. But um, th their statement is up to 12 months. Um, how to register your device. If this is the first you're hearing of this or you wanna know uh, how to check your serial number, I'm gonna put a link in the description that will say, um, or it'll have the Philips website. It's philips.com backslash, or forward slash, people have corrected me on that. philips.com forward slash SRC hyphen update. So uh, I'll put a link down there, click on it, and then you can pop in your serial number, see if it's, um, if it's on the recall or not. And if so, register it and get this process started. If you aren't sure, at least check <laughs> because it's the most important thing. You know, it wouldn't hurt to get a new machine, right? So just check real quick if you have a Philips machine. Um, and the final thing I want to go over is what you should expect after registering. So people are like, I registered it, but I haven't heard anything. Well, they're saying they're going to do three 
contacts. Number one is uh, a confirmation and your order is being processed. Number two is that your order is shipping, so your replacement device is on the way to you. And then the final one will be return instructions for your old Dream Station device or whatever device they're taking back. So should be three uh, emails as far as communication from Philips. So hopefully you found this information helpful. If you did, we would really appreciate the thumbs up. As I said earlier, if you could comment with any experiences in here, it would help other people and us tremendously just to know what's going on in the real world. So we really, really would appreciate some commentary on, um, on what's going on with you, how long you've been waiting, how long it's been since you got it, all those kind of things. So um, as always, we appreciate you watching and uh, thanks for the support.